Hello, my name is Kark City 2 and welcome back to our Omnifactory playthrough. Last episode we went ahead and got the creative tank and I have been a little bit busy. I have kind of sorting out what I want to do and uh, you may notice there is quite a few machines that are now gone from up here. So basically just uh, I'm trying to move everything that is like a crafting recipe. I need to move these next. So uh, yeah, like these have actual recipes in them. Um, this is all going to go in the crafting room. Um, whereas stuff like this is going to be all broken down. And then just whatever the end of the thing was. So all of this stuff was basically to get epoxy resin. So basically, we'll just take a thing of epoxy resin. I'm not going to do it right the second. Um, and then put that in a tank uh, for that, and then we'll break all that down. I'm just gonna do a lot of that off camera though. We don't need to actually uh, watch any of that. But uh, yeah, and like this, sterilized growth medium. This whole thing is for sterilized growth medium. So uh, yeah, that'll get all broken down. But these are actually crafting things, and I've done a few uh, over here, got rid of some of that, moved a couple of the IV machines. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. This will probably go in my, uh, the, uh, like the passive kind of crafting room, I think, because I'm sure we'll need, we'll still need ore processing. And, uh, I've just been kind of <laughs> putting that off, to be honest. Um, cause I have to, it's a bit of a pain, but when you break these machines, the covers and stuff pop off. So you have to reset them. Um. So that is kind of why I have been putting that off. Um, I need to, I just started thinking about what I want to do with these, like the assembler, but I need a um, molt. Actually, I got molten glowstone. That's right. I already uh, got that. So I can actually, while we're here, I might as well break this and move it. I was going to put a lot of these, um, I was going to put a lot of the assemblers all together. I was trying to put all um, the machines together in the uh, thing. Actually, you know what? I think I changed my mind. This recipe is so slow, this glowstone, that I think I want to upgrade this. Yeah, it's a 100 second recipe at IV. Maybe I'll do like a ZPM or something like that. I don't know. I'll leave it in my... I get caught on the ceiling. I'll leave it in my inventory so I remember um, to do that. Yeah, right there. Um, but you may notice I have awakened draconium in here. I'm going to. I want to make a thing for awakened draconium because that actually has a molten form. So that is what I am doing right now. Um, yeah, but as we can see, it's starting to look pretty cool with all the different uh, fluids. Basically, down here is stuff that needs to be turned into ingots. I've gone ahead and done the two solidified ones. We need hydrogen and argon, so that is those. Then I have the omnium one, and then the rest is all ingots. So this is signalum and lumium have those going uh i know rubber is not really like a metal ingot but it kind of fits with it but uh yeah and then all the stuff at top uh we have the acids that we need i went basically just did acid and then figured out what i needed like what is this used in all right it's used in you know producing i forget what it was yeah all the the circuit boards we need sulfuric acid and nitric acid um is used for turning dense stuff into regular. We may end up using this um, at some point, so I figured why not just get that. And phosphoric acid um, obviously is for luminescence. So those are there. And then we got rubber for our cables and then all these red alloys and all this stuff. This is all the stuff that goes in like uh, chemical reactors or assemblers. So there's our molten glowstone that we're gonna need. <clears throat> Um, soldering alloy, palladium um, for our carbon things. 
gallium and arsenide for those CPU wafers and uh, molten ender for uh, resonant. I wasn't sure if I was going to need this. Um, we don't need it for Enderium anymore, obviously, but there is this recipe, Ultimate Gems, so I figured why not. Um, it's basically free. That, the creative tanks are free, so I, why not just do one? But uh, all right, so I need... Um, I want one for the Awakened, so I need to uh, grab some more things. I should have... I should just put this in like a storage bus so I have the creative tanks in the A system, I'm thinking. I don't want to actually put these in the A system, but maybe I should have them. <laughs> I don't know. I usually just grab like a few and then go back. Um, do we have, I don't remember if I put, I don't remember if I put ingot molds in there. I really wish I could automate ingot molds, but uh, yeah, unfortunately you can't. It just does not work with a no oh, we got two out of it <laughs> all right i need to craft one more of those up i need to just craft up like 32 of these or something like that because we're gonna need tons of them all right so there is that melt that down And, uh, there we go. And then, fortunately, it does not use that up, so you have to do that. All right, but there is our Awakened Draconium. That is pretty cool. I'm going to this. Yeah, and then I need to, I'll do another one of the things in our storage room. I like having... A different storage room. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Um, is it necessary? Probably not. I could do... I could do the fluid solidifies directly into a quantum chest, but I don't particularly want 4 million <laughs> ingots in a chest. So, that's why I have it limited. So, probably over-engineered, to be honest, but, eh. You know, I'm having fun, so... All right, so that, that, need to throw a storage thing on there. So yeah, as we can see, oh, it's right there. Um, this is kind of what I've been doing, just getting everything set up and that should, oh, I keep putting that away, my cables. There we go. And then I will. This only needs one. The IV. The IV fluid solidifier can only handle one acceleration card. So, all right, there we go. There is our unlimited awakened draconium. Now, the reason I wanted to do that is actually to upgrade. Upgrade this to its final size which is the tier 8 and uh, I just want it because it's unlimited power basically so um, yeah that is what I'm planning unfortunately a couple of these things need to be moved although I did realize that it doesn't need to be within I thought this was like the outside range it had I thought these things had to be within that but uh, yeah, you can actually do that. Now, unfortunately, I don't really like how this looks. But I kind of like having that in the thing. Like, I don't know. I like having that there. I just don't like how that looks, to be honest. Um, I 
I wish I could... I kind of wish I could have this, like, above it. But unfortunately you can't, because this needs to be... The energy core needs to be in between that. So if this is above the energy core in the middle, this needs to be below. So in order for that to be above, the, the whole thing would have to be moved up. Which I don't think. I kind of like having that there. I don't know. Just seeing this big giant thing when you walk down here, it's kind of fun. Um, so, yeah, I think I want to upgrade that kind of right away, actually. So I'm going to need to kind of move some of this stuff. I'll probably throw all this stuff. That. This was for our the solar panels when I threw them there. I think I have enough room. I'm going to really quickly... It's one more out, so I actually have room. This does need to move, and that one needs to move. But those, I think, are actually okay, although they should be. Yeah, I think I'm just going to... Oh, God. I need to... Oh! <laughs> there. I was like, I can't click on it. Um, yeah, I forgot you could click on those. Yeah, we'll move that out, I guess. All right, uh, let me cut here and we'll come back. All right, uh, I've gone ahead and moved these. Oh, yeah, I just don't know what to do. I may do something around that. Maybe make the white blocks around it or something. But uh, yeah, I moved this stuff so we can go ahead and make this a tier 8. Um, but what I'm going to have to start doing is kind of... Adjusting recipe. So we need a whole bunch of awakened draconium, but we're not going to get it that way anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out and create a recipe to do it like that. So a bit of a pain um, that I'm going to have to go ahead and change recipes. And same with this. We don't need this recipe anymore. So that is done. We're never going to have to do that again. And then we have this recipe to get the ingots because we had to get it that way. So those are done as well. So yeah, I'm going to have to do like, I don't know, kind of just as I go, I think I will adjust recipes. You may have saw in the, the CPU wafer thing, um, which needs the gallium arsenide, which I used to do. Um, I used to put those two in and then with the ingots, but now I, I had to take the ingots out because now we just have uh, the fluid permanently. But I need a whole bunch of um, awakened here, and I actually don't remember how much it actually needs. All right, it's uh, oh, so awesome, 30,000. Um, all right, we need 300 and... 78 and we actually have two already so there we go how much was that i didn't see how much awakened draconium actually needed that is quite a bit and uh we need 786 draconium blocks this is yeah that one already does that that way um so we need 786, but we already have 210 in the actual energy core right now. So we need 576, 670, no, 576, yeah. And there we go. So we'll just get that crafting up and then that will let us do that. Now, one of the things I need to get automated here or passive crafting if you want to call it that is the neuro these neuro things so we're going to need tons and tons of these and i need to at least at least get wetware boards automated 
So I am, I need to figure out how I want to do that. So right now we just do a recipe for them. But I'm thinking I'm going to have to, well, one of the easy ways to do it is just this, but um, one minor issue with this is to get dragon eggs, we need something that uses dragon eggs. So, <laughs> um, there is the other way. If I like somehow run out, I can actually do this one and get dragon eggs. Um, but that's still, I don't like recipes that have that you like, you need an item that uses the item to get that item, if that makes sense. And this is definitely one of them. So if we did it that way, this one actually, actually this one does not use those wetware. All right, so technically this one actually doesn't, but the problem with this is to get this, I need the layer of the Chaos Guardian, which I need a tier seven and then the tier seven does. So. Even though the tier eight doesn't actually require, the tier seven requires 22 dragon eggs. So I think I will be 5,000 dragon eggs. Could just do that. That should, yeah, I was like, that should start filling in. It's slow enough that by the time we actually finish that, um, the speeds up now I think we'll stick with ZPM but this is so slow that I'm thinking I want to get it as fast as possible because um, I have heard you need to finish the pack we're gonna need many thousands of these um, but I figure if this is just running just continuously running that it will slowly um, We'll build up a decent backlog of that. But uh, yeah, at least that is going. I think once I kind of sort out my power even more, to be honest, I think the main source of our power is actually going to be solar. Um, I may do... I may do something fun with this, maybe get 16 of these, but for the most part, this is just going to be so superfluous um, it'll just be kind of more aesthetic i think i may do i'm kind of thinking i wanted to do this before and actually use like maybe like frames and have like a whole nother batch of turbines on top and use like the frames to like like it's kind of holding them up i don't know um but basically like one these produce what forty thousand times four hundred and sixty thousand RF. Well it like one neutronium solar panel does, you know. It's like fifty something. One neutronium solar panel is like fifty of these kind of thing. So as we can see, it's one so I can do these. So alright, I guess Um, yeah, I don't know. Well, that actually just reminds me. I should, uh, <laughs> as I'm trying to figure out what ingots I want, which there is just hundreds of different types of ingots. I think tungsten still should be one of them. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, all right. So let me get the rest of this stuff going. Got all that. All right. Well, we got it all. Um, unfortunately, it takes so long <laughs> to break these blocks. It is such a pain. So this is going to take me like 20 minutes to get this all broken down, I swear. Um, yeah. And I have to do this 200 times. <laughs> so this is going to take me a while. Um, but uh, yeah, let me do that. And then we will come back and we will craft up the tier 8.
And we are back. And by the way, the diamond mine hammer, which does a three by three, it does in fact work on that. Um, wish I had thought of that earlier, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I think this is enough for this. So tear up. And there we go. We can watch it be built. I'm pretty sure we have enough room. It's going to be pretty close to these, but I put them there, uh, keeping in mind how big this thing was actually going to be. And this is so much easier than it used to be back in the day, <laughs> trying to build it manually, especially the tier eight. Well, I totally have. That seems smaller. <laughs> is that actually tier eight? I feel like. How did I end up with that big of a? What? <laughs> what? Draconian block? Um, is the that feels smaller than I thought it? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I just went off what I saw listed on the wiki. But maybe that was way off. Well, obviously it must have been off because I am. I have way more draconium than. And way more awakened draconium. That's, uh. I don't know about that. Did I, no, I'm pretty sure that said 378. Didn't I have 300? I had 378. I don't know. That was weird. I feel like it's doing two layers of Awakened, isn't it? I wasn't really looking. I feel like that's doing two layers of Awakened. Oh my goodness. That's going to take forever. I'll just do. That is totally doing two layers of Awakened. Eh, I don't know. That was, that was weird. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. But that amount that I saw on the wiki was totally off. All right. Well, there we go. We're going to use that Awakened Draconium. Uh, eventually anyway but uh yeah there we go so we have an infinite basically an infinite size energy core now i that kind of surprises me maybe we were positive before i don't have that much stuff running unless i have i guess we have a bunch of iv machines running and all right those are emptying I still feel like that should be positive. There's no way we're using like a million RF. All right, there we go. That was just, it took a second to kind of update. But uh, all right, uh, let me cut here and we'll come back. And we are back and you may notice a whole heck of a lot of ingots and stuff up here. And this is kind of what I am planning on. This is the start of what we are going to use tanks to get. So as we can see, oops, um, lots and lots of different ingots that we're going to get automated with the creative tank. Um, these are the ones I'm going to do right away um, because basically um, I, want, I want another Neutronium solar panel. So I want to get this automated. Um, we're going to need like 16 chaotic shards there. So we need four. Each Neutronium is like or or five five tier eights so basically what i have done is basically just done tier seven oops uh craft up one gone through here and picked out every little thing that i can that we can speed up i haven't done every single item but uh like copper i haven't and silver and stuff because i already have those automated we probably will at some point 
Um, but the reason we need copper is annealed copper, and the reason we need silver is for electrum, which I have actually gone ahead and done. So we won't need all that electrum, and we should have one. Yeah, and there is our annealed, so we won't need all that copper. So basically, I've gone through and picked out some of the more difficult ones. Um, I need to get HSSG and probably some of this stuff. Tungsten smelts really quick. Um, a lot of the stuff is pretty easy. Titanium I need to get, but uh, the slowest ones are basically these. Um, Electrum is fast, but we need a thousand ingots of it. Um, Dark Solarium takes forever. Crystal Matrix ingot, I realized, actually has a fluid. Crystal Matrix fluid, which we can actually get these from. So, yeah, we're going to do that. And uh, so these are like kind of the first ones. So, yeah, that is kind of the plan. But as you can see, um, this is going to just, it's going to take me some time, basically. Um, to get this all done. But that is kind of my plan at the moment to get another, get everything kind of automated as best as we can um, to get, um, to get tier sevens, basically. Um, and then I will move on to tier nine, eights, tier nines and tier tens. And that is kind of what my plan is to get what we need to get in here because like i said there is so many of them that uh i need some sort of kind of i need a bit of a goal i can't just you know just do whatever i need kind of something to kind of guide me as what i need so let's do that one put that in there i love being able to automate these and uh yeah and then i'll set up storage chests for these ingots. I know it probably, like I said, I, it's probably way over-engineered, but I don't know, I kind of like it. I kind of like having, I think this is just gonna look cool in the end. If I have just like 500 of these on either side with all these level emitters, all different amounts and stuff, well, or I'm basically going 100,000. Um, I don't know, I just, I kind of like it. I like this, how this is going to, I think this will look cool. And um, I'm going to make this like, this is going to turn into like a room like this crazy, crazy long, I think. But I don't know. I think that may be fun. Um, I did debate about maybe doing a row up here. I don't know. Where would it be? It would be, yeah, it would be like there. Maybe raising the ceiling uh, to make it a little less long, I guess, would be. Like if these were the chests, I would do a level emitter up and then the export bus on the bottom. So I may end up actually doing that. And um, the only question is, would three rows of cabling look? I don't know if that would look very good. But, all right, so let me continue this, and uh, we'll come back. All right, we are back. It's been quite a while, but uh, I'm going to leave most of these loot things as is, even though I probably won't need them. Like, I don't need these anymore. I was using these for lava, but we don't need that anymore. But I'm just going to leave it, um, just because, you know, I like how it looks in the room. It's nice and organized. Um, but we do not need aluminum, and we're actually going to need these guardian scales. So I'm just going to go ahead and take out all this aluminum and throw it in there. And then, um, yeah, then we'll have the guardian scales, which we need. Now, the reason we need that is for these eternal catalysts. We're going to need that for these ultimate materials. So I uh, got a couple things here and um, just wanted to show what I have kind of been doing. Um, I've actually expanded this room. I made this room smaller and uh, expanded it to two blocks because I was gonna have like a super, super long <laughs> row, but then I was realizing um, this next part, the empowered, I'm actually gonna need two of each one for the block and one for 
these gears because you can either do uh, solidify the empowered stuff just directly or you have to do it this way. I thought we would maybe be able to do just four of the ingots in a the compressor and that would get us but no you actually have to send it through the combination crafting so i don't want that but i also need these for you know like this needs wyvern cores and this is used so i need like both for like every single one of these which um yeah that's a bit annoying there is a quest for it I just notice there's one missing does that not Nope, that, that is part of it. All right, that's a mistake. It should have all six. The diamond team gear is missing. Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, so we need six of those and six of those, so 12. And uh, I was thinking if I add this 12 on there, <laughs> then it's just the room's going to be ridiculous. So I've gone ahead and made a second row back here is what we're going to do. And also, I've actually gone ahead and switched this to a 16 um, because it was struggling for a little bit of power when these were all running. They're not anymore, but uh, when they are all running, like if I do a big craft and it pulls out a bunch, they're going to struggle a bit. Um, so I changed that to 16F, and this is actually Osmium Cable. Now that we don't have an issue with Osmium, um, these cables are can hold 16 amps in a 4X cable as opposed to the Lumium which would be, I would need 16X, and it just looks a bit nicer having the smaller cables. But uh, yeah, so that is what I am gonna do. And then I'm gonna set up, oops. I need to, so like I said, I'm gonna have to set up uh, six blocks and six gears. That's, that's a thing I'm gonna have to do. Um, so, I don't know, how about 100? We'll just do 100. I don't have steel yet. It's one of the ones, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't done steel yet. I probably will at some point, but it's not, it's not, like, super difficult. It's just an alloy smelter recipe, so it's not one I have done right away, but, uh, yeah, so here... We'll do the gears first, I guess. So not the extruder, you need the mold, this one. So there's that, and then, yeah, those will go in there. And uh, I think I have pretty much everything for this. Um, I was looking we're getting the gears. We have the Omniums. We have Quantum Star. Uh, oh, Ender Star. I don't have Ender Star yet. I'm going to have to get that. But uh, yeah, it's just going to take <laughs> some time, unfortunately. Uh, just getting everything set up. I just want to get, I'm getting prepared for the future. So basically, I want to get everything set now so I don't have to worry about it later, is what. Like, I could do. Recipes for those, but that's that's pointless. Um, I do need to craft up one of each, though. So might as well get that going. Ooh, what am I missing there? I've never actually crafted this up. That's right. I've never done empowered void crystals. And the only reason... I think we need them is for, we need these. Well, obviously the gears, and then we need it, these for these ultimate gems. So I do need it. All right, uh, I guess let me get this stuff crafted up. Do I have a vat? Yes, I should have a vat somewhere to get the Dew of the Void. And yeah, we'll just craft up one bucket or whatever, and we'll, uh, Throw it up here and we'll have an infinite amount. So, yeah, these are just like the different fluids and then the different ingots that go down there. So, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, so, I'm gonna get everything here for this and then, yeah, we'll come back.
All right, we are back, and I've done a few things here. Uh, added a new uh, wither monogal to get these wither bones. I just pulled a bunch of them out of one over there um, just to get that. So got that done, and then I've gone ahead and we've got all the uh, things taken care of over here. Got the blocks and the gears also got to do the void set up a chemical reactor for that um, also added the couple recipes uh, added this to the ultimate one and added this one to the advanced one and uh, I think should have everything yeah we have that I'm pretty sure we have everything so let's uh, Let's give this a go. Let's see. Wither bones. I forgot to put a storage bus on that. That one right there. Yeah, forgot to put a storage bus on that. Dang it. Also, you may have noticed <laughs> the ceiling. I'll go back to it after I do that. So those should show up there. We got put a stack in there we got one from the new one so that'll just take time to uh level up yeah there we go so we got everything this is pretty easy just uses a couple of nether stars um i do need to hold <laughs> one of each it's a bit annoying because i have to pull out i can't i don't think there's any way to just pull out one what am i missing <laughs> Ellis and yeah, Diamond Team we got. That should be all the, yeah, there we go. So that's all the, the things. Uh, what's that? <laughs> Where is that? Is that in Lake Cave? Where is that quest? Well, that ultimate material. All right. I, there has to be a quest for. Ah, I did see that somewhere, didn't we? Didn't we see that somewhere? There's a quest for that. I don't remember where it is. There it is. So I do actually need to hold one of those and then yeah, there we go. Now that does use a heart each time, but now we don't need the hearts for all the Awakened Dragonium, so that's actually uh, not too bad. There we go. There is the ultimate material. Got that. Let me claim all lows. So that is pretty much that chapter done. There is a Nequato Actor. Um, don't know if we're going to do that, but uh, there is that. Let's throw all these back. Throw those in there. And uh, where is the eternal? Yep, there we go. All right, so there is the eternal catalyst. Um, a lot of these we're not getting. I don't think you get. Yeah, there's no like a reward for these, but uh, yeah, so we got that. Next, infinity catalyst, but this is a little more complicated. Um, as we can see, all these eternal catalysts. Piles of Neutronium, that's on issue, but uh, Chaotic Cores and Heart of the Universe. Uh, that's pretty difficult, um, but that is what we're working towards. We need to get these automated, and that is not the easiest thing. And if we look at these, these are Infinity Ingots, although we can actually, yeah, we're almost there. We got everything except for the Infinity Catalyst, and... Uh, yeah, but that's working towards. So uh, next thing I want to get upgraded um, as I am up getting all these things set up here. Um, I want to I want to get these all set up. I want three different groups, one for 10, one for eight and uh, one for six. I believe there is a a recipe that uses six and uh we don't need to do this one anymore oh wait this yeah this one we do need to do this one um because we need awaken cores and there's no other way to get them so we're going to need one with 
that can do six inputs, one that can do 10, and one that can do eight. And uh, yeah, so like this one does eight, six, and then 10 is what I want. That way, uh, it just makes it easier. It spreads them out a little bit, and it'll go faster when we start crafting up all these tier 10 things that we're going to need. Because every single Infinity Catalyst that we need, we are going to need to get a tier 10 um, a tier 10 micro miner because um, there's no other ways to get hearts of the universe and that's a tier 9 and a tier 10 so yeah that is that there is no infinity fluid so we can't do that but that's kind of understandable but uh yeah anyway that's gonna be for this episode so next episode we'll come back and uh hopefully get this stuff upgraded gonna keep working towards getting the tier sevens and the tier eights for all the chaos shards that we need and uh yeah that'll be it so thanks for watching and have a good one